this time in this lecture, let's talk just a little bit about what different kinds of business models there are. Oftentimes, new ideas require new business models, but there's also a checklist that you can look at to get good ideas from. Here's some standard business models and then some examples. I won't go through all of them, but you could see them there. There's an advertising model. You do something, Google, Facebook, they get money from ads. People look at their screen, they click on ads, they get money from all the ads. That's how they generate their revenue. They continue to build out their network. They get returns to their shareholders. Then you could do au auctions like eBay was. There's, you could have buildings and online sales. It's called bricks and clicks, franchises. One we see a lot in apps is freemium business models where you could get a free service and then if you want more features and functions, in the case of Dropbox, you want more storage, you have to pay for that. Then in more traditional worlds, you might have a low cost business model where you're basically trying to make your price the lowest. Uh, you could manufacture retail. Peer-to-peer -peer models have become uh, important since Uber and Lyft and, and Airbnb have come up with ways to do that. Now there's scooters and city bikes and all different ways that you can essentially share from a peer-to-peer -peer perspective. Uh, you have uh, another interesting one is what they call razor and razor blades, which comes from selling a razor but the disposable blade. Therefore, that you have to the razor might be cheap, but you have to keep buying the blades. The classic on this one is printer ink. You got to keep buying the printer ink. Printer actually might be reasonable. The ink costs as much as the printer. And you could have subscriptions and traditional retail plans. If you think about it, there's lots of possibilities. You just look out in the market, see what other people are doing to generate revenue. It doesn't have to be you sell a product and you get it back. It doesn't have to be selling online. There's all sorts of ways that you could generate a revenue model. And here's some examples. Separately, you, there are often opportunities for disruptive business models, which means doing it completely different than anyone else had done. The classic of the example of this is not on of this idea is not on this list, but it was Amazon. You come out, you say, "Boy, bookstores can't carry all the books." This is Jeff Bezos's thinking. They can't carry all the books, but I can carry them all online. So I have an advantage to start with. Plus, they're relatively cheap and easy to ship. So you start Amazon. Um, you also have uh, online text ads, search engines, Googles, those came up as opportunities. Software as a service. Um, there's also in the gaming industry, perhaps games that you could put online as a service. Uh, shared uh, ride sharing, Uber and Lyft at their time were uh, changed the rules of how business worked. You now also have uh, uh, sports betting online. Uh, with FanDuel and other things. These are disruptive business models. No one ever thought of how to do it before or what to do and how to make money at it. Um, but new technologies, uh, changing uh, demographics, changing market demands, uh, allow you to create an entirely new way of creating a business model.